again and again they've struck. The fact that nobody's been hurt is either a miracle or a coincidence. But we can't assume the continuance of either. So what do we do now? There's one approach, Michael, but it's very dangerous for you and for Kit. Go on. Well, we all know that Kit and Carr are made of a virtually indestructible alloy. Hardly anything could damage either car. Hardly anything, that is, except this. Whoa. That's very interesting. It's a resonating laser, Michael. It's powerful enough to send a burst of energy directly into Carr's only vulnerable spot. The front scanner here. But the scanner is protected by an alloy grill. Only a dead-on shot can work. Then the scanner will blow, and with it, all of Carr's systems. It'll become an immobilized hunk of metal. Bonnie? That's, uh, that's very impressive. Well, it seems doable. Wait a minute. Why all the long faces? To perform this task, Michael, you and Kit must be directly in front of Carr. For maximum effect, you must fire the laser at a distance no greater than 100 yards. And you must hold the laser on target for at least two full seconds. Two seconds. 100 yards. Kit and Carr can travel 100 yards in two seconds. Yes. That's the problem. By the way, the laser's only good for two shots. Any more would deplete Kit's battery.